Judges chapter four key points. Deborah, the first female judge of the children of Israel. And she's from the tribe of Ephraim. Every, if you don't know, Ephraim is the second born son of Joseph. Remember, he got a double portion um, of a blessing, the firstborn blessing, and he had two um, children that inherit the land and been moved up to sonship by Israel, um, the father. And of course, Barak, um, he is from the tribe of Natali. He is a military man. And then we have Caesarea, who was confident, who is from the Canaan's military. He was confident in his 900 chariot of iron. And of course, I love the fact that he ended up running away on foot. Why? Because Jehovah was fighting a battle with the children of Israel. He confused the people of Canaan. And that's how we have our word study in the word of discomfort. Then we have Caesarea, who was defeated by a woman. A woman, um, her name is Jarrell, who was a from the tribe of Canaanite. Uh, from Moses' father-in-law, who is also from the children of Kentur, which is Abraham's second wife. That is still in the bloodline of Abraham. Just want to point that out. And so Jarrell was the woman who defeated Sesra. So the war was actually put in her hands, not into Deborah's hands, as I first thought when I first was reading the book of Judges, um, many years ago, I thought it was it was going to be in her hands that she prophesied that it's going to be in a woman's hands. Our insight, my insight, is what I opened up with. The evil that the people of Yahweh kept falling to was doing things in their right that was right in their own eyes. Not following the claims of Yehovah, but following things that they believe was right according to whatever they decide to do. And this is what we find the people of today in. If you have not realized, the book of Judges most definitely relate to us today because many people are not following the commandments of Jehovah. They're creating these traditions and these laws that come from man and they believe what they're doing is right in their own eyes. So this most definitely, the book of Judges relate to this time today. So another part of the insight is what we focused on last week, a little piece of it, was women in ministry. Women have been in ministry since the beginning. You can go as far as back to the garden. Now, I'm not going to go into details about that today. Eventually, I am going to do a whole teaching on women in ministry starting back from the garden. So, which brings me to my cross reference. And you see this huge green check there. The huge green check is there because those reference were more about the women in ministry than about the book of Judges chapter four. And I wanna make sure that it's clear. I'm not saying those cross reference or for Judges 4, but it's about Deborah as a female that people have such a difficult thing to deal with. And I'm pretty sure that Jehovah's first thought was not Deborah. I'm pretty sure it probably was a man, but he had no problem. And a woman didn't have no problem answering to the call. She was already a prophetess, which means she was already in leadership, which means she already was able to tell people what Jehovah said in the first place. Now, my questions. I have three questions which are related and probably continue in Judges chapter five. Was Jarrell right in her actions? Would Jarrell have done the same thing if her husband was around? Three, would Heber, the husband, would he have done the same thing as she done? So those are the questions that I have for Judges chapter four. 